Oh yeah, it's this one, okay. I actually forgot this mission was in the game entirely. Which is doesn't bode well for the game for this level, does it? I can never wear a jacket again. Tecmo Koei say I'm not allowed. I have an idea. I've been looking into LOA in all sorts of ways. Some legal, some not. You better watch it. The end doesn't justify the means. So soon. What? <laughs> the facts are the facts. LOA has built some sort of secret facility She's in the middle of the coloring in the corner. Talk about suspicious. That must be their base of operations. Are you sure? <laughs> Give me a little credit. You're talking serious brain power here. Oh, he's so, so annoying. What do you think? Well, we don't have any other leads. So what are we waiting for? I'll arrange we're, a jet. We're waiting for you Lord, to stop arguing about yeah. something you and using redundant machine. Hollywood we shit. So who's going in as backup? Like literally, the Me? world is going Sorry, to end, and they say, "Hey, I'm snooping into the guys that are evil. Some of the ways I'm snooping are illegal." And they're like, "Oh, the ends don't justify the means," and it's like that's literally a textbook definition of when the ends justify the means. You're saving the world from an evil corporation spying on said corporation. Oh no, creepy child is here. <laughs> Why did they make an inventory sound? <laughs> Boing! You're really a ninja, so it's perfect. Feel safer with this. Oh, that's just music, yeah. Yay, see, I learned to love the tumor arm. Oh, it's so weird that they really try and make him into a dad figure in this game. It's just like, no one wants... It's like, oh, I don't know, like, I was gonna compare it and then I thought, no, that's redundant. It's Dante's an uncle now, so... Uh, but yeah, like, um... Oh, man. So this is just an Arctic one. Ah, oh, that cheesy dialogue, I'm so glad it's over. Hayabusa, the cave entrance is ahead. Why did you sound like Mr. Burns you for that line? Get inside their base. Got it. Hey, can you hear me? <laughs> Why is he now more British than he was before? Honestly, this game shows how little people know about the British accent. Like, it's just fading in and out. These look breakable and they're not. Oh man. What flag is that? Did you ever get cold in that get up, Hayabusa? No. <laughs> no. I am too ninja to need clothing. Standard DOA. I'm glad that they bothered. I'm glad that they fought. I know, we need a mission where uh, there's a random British guy giving you the weather forecast and just making non-witty comments that are just like I don't get you guys and your mindless killing so wow I'm glad he's here for the ride along definitely not suspicious that he's coming along with us and the other person is and after it's very obvious who he is and, you know Hey Cliff, why why are you not present whenever the villain is? Oh, no reason. Hey, can I just go and assist Tyabusa on this mission alone? No reason. Watch it, Hayabusa. You're on a crevasse. I guess 
Oh, Mama's crevasse. I'm glad he talked over himself. Ah, uh, yes. You figured as much? Wow. I figured there'd be a QTE. What? What the fuck? You've been talking to him this whole time, and he just goes, "Oh, can you hear me?" It's like it, I think he's trying to be. It's trying to be like, "Oh yeah, he's not listening to me." But it's like you haven't given him any orders at all. You've just been making stupid comments like, "Oh, nice weather we're having," and it's just like, "What? What, what do you want me to say to that?" <laughs> Trying to make a point of Ryu Hayabusa is really like unfriendly to this guy. He knows what's up, and it's like the guy isn't saying anything of value though. <laughs> and yes, we're fighting these dudes again. The last couple of missions in the game kind of use these a few more times. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, uh, don't like fighting them because they have stupid health. And then they always just seem to respawn another one after you've beaten one of them, you know? Like that. So, hey, you know this was a horrible slog because their health bar's like twice that of a boss? Uh, let's just do it another six times. One of their throw moves sends you to critical health and you have to fight them a hundred times. Mm. I know I'm always bitching about these guys, but it's also like, what is what is this design? It's like a hamburger that came to life. It's like, this is what your whoppers are made of. Like, it's just, just fucking dumb. Like, you know, you spend most of your time with them going, nah, 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 that's a block, nah, 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 that's a block. Oh, I'll let you hit me now. See? Just he's got no arm, and now he's, oh, he's doing his blonker shit. Sense a proper path, do I, should I just leave? Okay. Trust me, if I don't have to fight these guys, I won't. LOL. They did. Oh shit, there was auto guard in that. When they spam throw moves that do half your health bar is gonna trigger the auto guard, isn't it? Oh, you guys as well. You know, the thing about Ninja Gaiden 2 is it didn't, like, needlessly, endlessly recycle certain enemies in areas where you're like, look, no one gives a shit, stop using these enemies. Like, it did it a little, but not to this point where there's, like, how are these enemies related, why are they here? Oh, I'm supposed to go through the spawn point, okay. Oh, now we're doing this. So, so good. That we have to do it again! <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna... I don't know, maybe if I change weapons more frequently it will make the gameplay less boringly frustrating. Oh great, he's ignoring the wall. Oh. There's a thing. They're doing this again. And if you linger at any point when the game doesn't want you to linger on this mode, it goes, Press R3 to sense the proper path, you lost idiot! <laughs> and you're like, I know! <laughs> I know! You don't need to put horrible time, like aerial font in front of the screen that's not even the same as the rest of the UI elements to go, By the way, did you know? It's like, we know! It's like mission 10 or some shit.
again. Fight an annoying enemy surrounded by smaller, more annoying enemies, and then his friend shows up. Donkey Kong and Konky Dong. I did it again. Fucking unverted. It's inverted menu controls until you get to a menu, then left is left and right is right, and it just pisses me off so much. Like, down is up, up is down, but the other axis is completely normal, and it's like, fuck you. <laughs> and only for those menus. Only for the weapon select, and the ninpo select, and the combo menu. You know what's fun? When you can't break an enemy's guard and they turn around to face you every time and nothing does damage. Mmm. Get used to just constantly hearing dun 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 of the heartbeat because every time I get up to white health they just immediately spam throws until I'm back into red. And yes, I am bad at the game. But like honestly, why should I even bother? This game is fucking trash. <laughs> uh, did you know? <laughs> Did you just show me the same text twice? This is ridiculous, this is fucking nuts. Do you want me to shoot the thingy? Do you want me to shoot the thingy? There, I shoot the thingy. Are you happy? You know what would make this gameplay more fun? Spamming you with even more of the same enemy. Oh great, there's more there. Oh great, there's more of these chodes. Hey guys, we're gonna make bioweapons. Where should we leave them? In a fucking cave in the Antarctic. Shouldn't there be different enemies there, like the snowdrop enemy? No, what the fuck are you talking about? That would be fun! <laughs> We'll just make him fight the guys that auto block everything. I don't think that hit him even when he was taunting me. It's fucking bullshit. Just go away, like, you don't need to have so much health. Head fell off good. We did it. Will they spawn more? No, they will spawn a horrible, horrible one of these. Well, there's a goldy thing over there. I'm terrified to ever let go of L1 or R1, except for when we're climbing. Uh, like we're definitely climbing upwards, because if you let go of one or the other, sometimes it goes. You let go of both, you're dead. And you're like, fuck you. <laughs> oh yes, this is adding depth to the game. <laughs> I'm so glad those QTEs came in and saved this game from getting like a 0 out of 10. Ah <laughs> oh, look, the murals came alive. That was kind of cool. I didn't notice that when I was playing the game. Mostly because everything's a washed out shade of grey, but it's fine. <laughs> oh look, he's gonna explode. Oh. Purple Boy is back. One of the weirdest additions that is the most underutilized thing in the entire fucking game is Hey guys, we're gonna bring back the purple fiends. What are you gonna do with them? Uh, like two encounters in the game, they just show up apropos of fucking nothing. <laughs> You're like, oh. 
and they only comment they get both times is, ah, I didn't think fiends would be here, and that's it. Until spoilers like the last mission. And it's never explained, like, why the fuck are fiends here? This, this has nothing to do with fiends. But the last two games had everything to do with fiends. This is all science bullshit. We're just like, fiends here? Oh, never mind. through iframes. Uh, okay, yes, let's do this one. Pretty sure I didn't get enough scarabs to get the final weapon. But honestly, I feel like the final weapons fail like, to get every scarab in the game. Or do the skull challenges or some shit. Man, I wish I was playing Bayonet. Uh, like, if this number of enemies was on screen in Ninja Gaiden 2, I would be like, oh yeah, this will be fun. In this, it's always just like, with a resigned sigh, you're like, oh, I'm gonna have to fight all of these stupid Eddie Gordo motherfuckers doing their jumping flippy kicks. Spiky Gordos. Oh. Game says fuck you, you can't have the obliteration ultimate technique thingy. Guess what guys, this will heal me. <laughs> I, I, just in case you didn't notice. And now we're fighting Dorman. This is setting my PS4's fans on fire, and this is like a PS3, Xbox 360 game because of the particle effect on this laser. I don't know why it's so fucking poorly <laughs> assigned in this game, <laughs> but for some reason in this HD collection, they made this laser blow my fans out of its ass for some reason. <laughs> Look at this fucking Gears of War motherfucker over here. This looks like a locust. Wait for him to come back on screen. This guy looks like he works for Lieutenant Scourge. You can't tell me otherwise. Now maybe the scythe is a little weird for a Gears of War, but his design is screaming at me, locust. I'll get close to him at some point, or he'll just kill himself by hiding in the corner. I, I don't know what happens to this dude, but I barely engage with him. And then I turn around and he's just fallen off a cliff at some point, so... Great introduction to the enemy. Look guys, a new enemy! He threw himself off a fucking cliff, how threatening! Oh, I think I killed him there, that's what happened. Again, how threatening. Giant centaur locust with scythe. Uh, how did he beat him? By firing a few drive drive overdrives at him. And thinking he fell off a cliff because it went by so fast. How do and explain this. How does that dude have seemingly less health than the fucking monk guys? You know. The monkey guys, the guys that kind of make you think of monkey because of their build, like the gorilla size guys. Slowly open door. Then I'm like Aragorn. Kana? Oh no, I'm being a bad parent. Kana, are you okay? Where's your iPad, honey? Don't make me get out your second iPad. <laughs> What's your Peppa Pig? How many times have I told you to clean up after yourself? Is that a pack of cigarettes? <laughs> the kid's just like, oh, it's a rough day on this aircraft carrier. It's just smoking Marlboro Reds. Oh no! Her iPad! <laughs> <laughs> 
I was kind of joking. <laughs> to be fair, she needs that to communicate, so it's different, right? Like... Whatever world Ninja Gaiden comes into is in. There's a lot more sneak church, you know? And I want to know more about Snurge. Like, this, this is some satanic AF behemoth music video church, and I'm down. Like, I don't want to ruin people's idea of what satanism is. We didn't have, like, we... The satanic church does not have houses like this. <laughs> it does not have churches like this just around, you know? And you can guess why that is. <laughs> but you're sat there like, look at this intricate architecture. Look at this sick sigil mosaic on the floor. Look at these snake pillars and stained glass satanic windows. What a great idea. What a nice interior design. I wouldn't want it in my house, so I feel like it's a bit gauche, but like, you know, like... What an interesting design. I feel like the spine door is a bit off though. Do you really need the spine door? I feel like that's just going too far after a while, you know? Also, we're fighting the black ones this time. And these pink dudas are back for literally a handful of rooms too, because they were like, oh, we can make new enemies, or yeah, it's about two thirds of the game through. No one's played this far, just shove in the old enemies from the past game. Seriously, what? If you walked into this church, like, what god do you think they worship? Because I'm thinking they're, like, just think snakes are rad. But this is just the Harpatology. Is it Harpatology? Man, if, if you were a Harpatologist, if that's what, Herpetologist? Oh, that's probably, like, birds. Or no, that's Ornithologist. Ah, uh, I don't know. If you're a snake dude, <laughs> if you're a snake scientist, Sneakman, and you were like, oh, we gotta go to sneak work today, and this was your building. Kinda give me Slytherin vibes too, but like, you know. Ah, glad they have this maintenance store in this church. Oh, you asshole. He, he just went, nah, 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 none of that works. I get an un unblockable command grab. What? <laughs> Did he just WWE Superstar Reversal me? He was just like, nah, man. I got you back. Now you're getting pile driven. Pile driven. Yeah, pile driven, right? Pile drived? Pile drove? Pile driven. <laughs> Seriously, what the fuck was that? I've never seen that and I will never see it again. Don't know how that dude did that, but he did. Stabbed. I'm glad he backflips out of everything I do. That's really satisfying. Please die. Hey, gotta clean my blades. Yeah, no more jelly filter. Oh! You know how much stained glass windows cost, mate? <laughs> Dick. Like, imagine you pay for a stained glass window and some twat just jumps through it like the Kool-Aid man. Like, surprise! It's like, well, I hope you have, like, thousands of dollars. <laughs> And no a good stain glass stainer. <laughs> you know how hard it is to find a good artificer of stained glass windows. Are you dead? Good, stay dead. Oh, oh, a shiny. Oh, combat is still happening, I just don't care. Ah oh, yes, the CPU laser. I need to kill you as quickly as possible to stop you burning out my fucking PS4. What? <laughs> I forgot they turned into those. 
because, you know, that design looks nothing like the thing I was just fighting. Okay. General Ron's redneck cousin. If you want. I would just shout Twa. Twa. What? That didn't even come from his face. It just kind of appeared next to his face. Oh, he can just ground trip his scythe. That's really hype. Why can't I do that? Damn, man. I get a feeling you like that to do that move, because you've done it like seven consecutive times. Haha, <laughs> your leg fell off. Poke you in the butt. Mm. Ah, yes. The grating of Satan. I'm gonna ruin this segment by running along the wall. Oh! <laughs> oh, hello. Bye bye. Oh, yes, the everything proof shield. Man. But I don't even know these guys, but I get the feeling that they're like clinical narcissists, you know? Because it's like. They got the kind of smug attitude of a narcissist that I win, that didn't count kind of mentality. The smug I can just scream you down and just say my everything proof shield says no. I'm God. Look at this fuck. I don't feel like that letting that hit me today, so it didn't. Like, fucking grow up, mate. <laughs> get good. These guys are, would probably plug on you if you were playing Tekken with them. Like, no, you didn't win. Like, they play the spammiest character in the, in the group, and whenever their bullshit doesn't work, they cry and then plug. That's what I'm getting off of these guys. Plug vibes. Plug vibes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. And I bet you they play on Wi-Fi, and it's really bad Wi-Fi, too. So it feels like that you're fighting someone who's, like, trapped at sea in the Bermuda Triangle. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Look, he's running at you going, Yeah, I know, I'm protected by my everything-proof shield. Fucking get a job. <laughs> I don't know what you can get a job as on the pile of limbs, but you, you can try. Well, he's dead. Jesus, Ryu, calm down. I know those guys are frustrating, but holy shit. <laughs> Flame grilled. dead. How many more dudes are going to jump from the rafters? Put them. Thanks. These guys feel really generic. I don't know how, but they just feel really generic. Like, their moveset's not, but like, their design is really just like, this spiny dude. Ah, oh, hello. Scythe scythe, let's go. <laughs> I lose. War. Ah. Ah, yes. He really likes to just kind of swing the scythe around like that, doesn't he? It's like, it's like his favorite move. I will go horizontally and then vertically. Horizontally and then vertically. There we go. That's the heat. Good old sweep and stab. Nothing beats that. 
No, dude, I, I'm riffing on your bullshit and you're still doing it. You need to stop. He's still doing it, holy shit. Did they just give you one move? Other than the Mexi Beam. Oh no, not the Earthquake. My natural enemy from this elevated position. And grippy feet. Uh, it's not letting me execute you, so I'm just gonna keep yeah, cutting you until your head falls off. Oh, hello, it's your brother. Lieutenant Ham. Friend of General Ram. It's great when you have to explain your jokes, because they're so shit. Ah, I see this guy, he swings a different way. And I don't mean sexually. <laughs> ah, the Mexa Beam is back. Oh, you died much faster. Whoa. Eagle time. Look at my tiny, tiny health bar. Ah, my health bar just got out of the shower, it's fine. <laughs> ah, the Resident Evil test tube room. I wonder if they'll jump out at me. Seriously, Japan, does Japan just have like Walmarts like this where they're just filled with shit that jumps out at you in test tubes? Because they love this shit. The amount of games I've played from Japan where there's a room full of test tubes and shit jumps out at you from the test tube and it's like, so why was it in one of these containment canisters if it could just bust out whenever it wanted to? Like, you know, like... Now, these guys don't look strong enough, or maybe the big monk dude can, but like, you know, everyone else. He says, return to monkey. Where banana. You tell me these spiny dudes can get out of those tiny little test tubes. They look pretty thick glass. Ah. Uh. I mean, I guess dogs were busting out of glass earlier in this playthrough, so... <laughs> Anything. Apparently all the glass is sugar glass in this universe. There's snurch and sugar glass only. See? Felt like, uh, you know, tissue paper would have held them back better. Oh, I just got kicked. Oh, just... Fin in the herd. You can't explode if I kill you first. That's how that works. Oh well. You can't keep the sleigh bells anyway. Uh, do, 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 do. Where are we going? Oh, more guys. I'm oh, just gonna shoot you with arrows. I'll just stab this wall. Maybe that'll make you go away. Yeah. Why did he just back up the wall? <laughs> ah, well, you're dead now. Uh, do I go under the wooden panel? Oh, that's progress. What's down here? Scarab? Scarab? No. Uh. Oh, it's one of those. No, 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 our brackets went off the edge of the screen. This doesn't make any fucking sense. How did I go through one way and not the other? Okay. Made me go around the long way. The very long way. Yeah, yeah, I'm not lost. 
You're clearly an idiot who was lost, you fucking moron. You need to look this way. It's like, fuck you. <laughs> How dare you stray from the path, idiot. <laughs> now we're in a mine shaft, like... Oh, it's me. Evil Ryu jokes intensify. I love how I drew my sword and immediately clipped into my Wolverine claws. <laughs> oh no. He's me, but he knows how to Zuna drop properly. Joke's on him. I've got the power of easy mode on my side. You will never win. Like, imagine this guy that we're fighting is not actually a real embodiment of anything and like Cliff is just watching this shit and is like, what? Ryu's just like running around an area and just flying around screaming and acting like he's taking damage and shit. And Azuna dropping himself? <laughs> Imagine how batshit that would look on screen, it's like... I think he's having some kind of seizure. <laughs> well, he's just got the dance rhythm. He's just like, oh, I just gotta go crazy. Gotta yell to wall. Yeah, you can tell he's, because he has a deeper voice, he's evil. That's how that works. Oh, oh no, my arm. It didn't even glow well, red this time. I knew you had it in you, Ayabusa. Not even the ties of blood can stop you from taking a life. Why are you here? Allow me. To answer that, Murdoch. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I am the chairman of LOA. You may call me Ashtier, and this Ash is my head of R and D, Clifford Higgins. Oh no, the heel so turn! I could never have guessed. Japanese government, but my true calling is research for the Lords of Alchemy. Oh. So you're behind all of this. And you've proven to be our biggest obstacle, Dragon Ninja. And you were supposed to have died in London. But I stayed what do you say and twice? When Clifford said he How needed you a, a CEO? sample of your blood. You should thank me, Hayabusa. I saved your life. For a little while, at least. <laughs> ah, good and one. thanks to the Dragon Ninja's DNA, we've <laughs> been closer to creating a perfect being. A magnificent addition to our bloodline. <laughs> oh yeah, you, you see, two just so cool jokes there. Connor's great grandfather. Oh great. She's a very special girl. I need her. Okay, Epstein. What about Lucy? <laughs> Is she alive? Who cares? <laughs> oh yes, yeah, so this virus I can control with my mind. <laughs> Fuck off. Did we ever tell you that this evil illness we gave you, I can just use my sorcery of being a creepy pedo CEO to make it like into a thing? And its outdated ways will mark the birth of a new millennium. Old man in wheelchair doesn't see irony of saying, hey, this thing's outdated and should be replaced with something younger. Wow. Okay, Boomer. <laughs> How about letting someone else take control for five seconds? Mad bastard. Also, weird thing. He says here, you can call me Ash here. And you're like, what? And then every other time he is introduced as Alistair. And you're like... Did they just... 
Did someone, did someone on the team who didn't speak good English just say, yeah, he's just called Ashtir. And they're just like, what's that Ashtir? And they're like, Ashtir. And then later someone says, they mean Alistair. <laughs> like a whole Relento Lorenzo, Yuri and Jur Julian thing. There's always, uh, there was always people saying that the Mitsubishi Starion was supposed to be Stallion, and I, I, I still think that that's not what's supposed to happen at all. Like, I don't know. I thought I read somewhere that it was actually supposed to be like Star Ion or something, but you know, it's now a DA car. No one drives it anymore. But like, oh, he has the thing I don't have. Yeah, I think they thought this would be a really cool rival fight, but it's really not. Oh, my arms. I killed my devil gene. Who's, tell Evacuate immediately. Who's telling me that? Cliff's evil. Who's talking to me? Random British accented dude. That can't be Cliff. Now we have to fight Snowjob. Where were you when we were in the snow? Your theming baffles and annoys me. Oh, great. We need to leave quickly. Okay. You can't leave until you finish spamming these enemies that keep reappearing. Yay. Yay! Yay! Can I leave now, please? Just want to end the level. Wait, what? What? Ah! <laughs> now we have to do it again. <laughs> This again. Really? Never give up. They just kind of skipped over their own dialogue again because I finished that area too quickly. That's great. How are you still talking to me? Oh, thank you. Oh, guys, you can tell he's evil because he said, hey, hey, careful, and is scared for my well-being. <laughs> Why not? None of this makes fucking sense. Only a little ways to go. I'll be waiting on the Black Narwhal. Why are you telling me this? Who is that? Like one second they're like, yeah, we can kill him, we don't need him anymore. Then he's like, by the way, don't die, I need you. I'm just like, what the fuck? You're evil, leave me alone. I have Busa! Over here! Let's go! They're abandoning this base, which means we don't have much time. Your voice is you? really on, familiar. Hurry before the whole world goes to hell. Is that Hagar? <laughs> Or Guile? Is that Guile or Hagar's voice actor? Man, I have to look that up now. 